Hi, welcome back to the stovetop. So you might be wondering what's with all the gun oil on the uh, stovetop. Well, I just got done uh, being a panelist on Caliber Corner this morning and the subject was uh, cleaning firearms, different oils, cleaners, preservatives, lubricants, you name it. Because it's a very controversial subject in the uh, firearms community. There are certain people that swear by one oil over another, or some people never clean their guns, some people always clean their guns. It's, it's, always, it's always a big debate. You wouldn't think that would be something that people would argue over, but they do. And I decided to bring some of my gun oils up from my reload bench in order to have them ready to be able to talk about during the show but I didn't need to do that so I figured well they're already up here why not put them up on the stovetop for this pop tart review so here they are this is just an example of some of the different cleaners preservatives and lubricants that I use when I clean my firearms so this morning while I'm having my coffee I thought I would go ahead and unbox and review the limited edition Pop-Tarts Red, White, and Blueberry. Now I picked this up when I was coming back from the 2020 Rod of Iron Freedom Festival in Greeley, Pennsylvania. I believe I picked this up at a Giant Eagle store. Whenever I head out that way, I'm always bringing back Tasty Cakes and Yingling. And if something else catches my eye, for example, a coffee that I haven't seen before that I might be able to do a review on, or something like this, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Now, I might have had red, white, and blueberry Pop-Tarts before and just don't remember it. And I'm thinking this is kind of something that they would have in the summer for Independence Day, but I picked it up in October. So you might say, well, they're probably expired. Well, it says right here, they expire in March of 2021, and it's still October of 2020. So they're good to go. Now you get eight pastries in a box, proudly baked in the USA, and Kellogg's is a, uh, is a Michigan company, so I'm supporting American jobs, I'm supporting Michigan jobs. Uh, calories here, let's see, one serving is two pastries, so that's what's in one sleeve. So 370 calories for two pastries and all this other pointless, useless. You know what? If you're trying to eat these and be healthy, I mean, let's get real, okay? So enough, enough talk. Let's just go ahead and open these up and see what we've got here. Go ahead and open up the sleeve. Oh, look at that. The, uh, the breading is a pink color, magenta perhaps. And the frosting is white with uh, red and blue sprinkles in it, very small sprinkles in it. So you've got your red breading with your white frosting and red and blue sprinkles. I think they should have just gone with strictly blue sprinkles if they wanted to do red, white, and blue. Or maybe a, a blue streak down the middle or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat one cold and I'm going to heat up one in the toaster. I'll be right back. The coffee I'm having this morning is the Giant Store brand Hawaiian blend. I've already done a review on this coffee and I'll include a link to that. Normally I don't eat my Pop-Tarts warm as I've said in other videos, but for the purposes of doing a review, I think it's a good idea to eat one warm and one cold as you know you have the option to eat them either way and I know for some people eating them cold is a deal breaker I get that I'm not gonna lie they usually taste better warm but I eat these on the go I mean I'll throw this in my lunch I'll wolf it down at work and I get right back to work and you know I get uh, I get a little bit of uh, you know some carbs from the breading I get a little bit of pick-me-up from the sugar in there and maybe even a little bit of vitamins from the real fruit filling all right let me go get the pop-tart out of the toaster here okay right out of the toaster and I might have had it in there a little bit too long because I've got a couple brown streaks on the white frosting here you know and that's another thing too when I want to eat I want to eat now I don't want to wait this is one of the reasons why I don't like cooking You've got to do all this prep and then you've got to wait for the, you know, I don't decide to cook until I'm hungry and 
I just don't like to wait. I really don't. So this is a great snack if you don't want to wait. So maybe that's the reason why I don't heat them up. And when I open this up, the, the fruit filling is a really dark red. So I'm thinking maybe raspberry, maybe uh, a mixture of a couple others. It is a little bit hot to the touch. I think I had it in the toaster a little bit too long. Let me go ahead and take a bite. Now I'm going in from the back side, the breading side. So I'm getting the, uh, the frosting right down on my tongue. But I can definitely taste raspberry in it. Let's see on the ingredients if it says. I got to find it in English because um, there's lots of Spanish writing on here. All right. Uh, dried blueberries, dried grapes. And of course, you know, artificial flavors, red 40, blue 2, blue 1, blue 1 lake. Yeah, so it looks like they use raspberry and grape. Kind of like what they do with uh, some juice blends where they use grape or apple juice as the base and then they'll put in the more expensive fruit. Now if I hadn't read the ingredients, I might not pick the grape out of this, but now that I have, yeah, I can taste that. You've got the raspberry, but there's there's uh, almost like grape jelly. Not bad at all, considering I had it in the toaster a little bit too long. Let me cleanse the palate here with a little coffee. I'll go ahead and have it cold. Once again, frosting side down. Not bad, not bad. Heated up is, is better, it brings the taste out more. I should say it makes it, you know, it's kind of stronger. But this is still good. The, uh, the breading, I think they just put uh, food dye in here. I don't think there's anything special about the breading over your standard Pop-Tart. Overall, pretty good. So, this late in the year, you might still see these at the store. Not too bad to have, but I'm thinking they'll be coming around again next summer. So this review is good any time of the year, possibly. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my Pop-Tart and my coffee. And i got to get a box because I'll be making four or five trips if I have to take all this down to the reload bench. Thanks again for watching.